Welcome back to the Linux security series. Privilege escalation is a way that attackers can escalate their privileges on a system. For example, an attacker has gained access to your web server but only as a low privileged user. They cannot read or write sensitive files, execute scripts, or change system configuration. But if they can find a way to trick the system into thinking that they are the root user, the attacker can carry out much more harmful attacks like reading and writing sensitive files and inserting permanent backdoors into the system. Today, let's talk about how attackers can exploit a badly configured Chrome job to escalate their privileges. If you use Unix systems, you've probably heard of a Chrome job. Chrome is a job scheduler in Unix-based operating systems. First, let me give you a quick overview of how Chrome works. Chrome allows users to schedule jobs that run periodically, and it can help you automate administ administrative and periodic tasks like downloading emails and running automatic scanners. You can configure the behavior of Chrome by editing files called Chrome tabs, and jobs executed by Chrome are called Chrome jobs. You can edit your own user's Chrome tab by running Chrome tab E. And you can also list the current Chrome jobs for your user by running Chrome tab L. All Chrome tabs follow the same syntax. Each line specifies a command to run and the time at which it should run. From the left to right in the Chrome tab line, you specify the minute, hour, day, month, and weekday when the command on the right should run. For example, this Chrome tab entry tells the shell to cd into the directory where I store security scripts and run the scan.sh shell script every day at 9.30 p.m. The wildcard characters here means all. It indicates that this Chrome job should run every day of the month and is not limited to certain weekdays. Administrators can also configure system-wide Chrome jobs to carry out Chrome jobs that are not limited to a particular user. The location for system-wide Chrome tab is slash Etsy slash Chrome tab. And you can also specify the user to run the command as. For example, this entry will tell Chrome to run the same scan.sh shell script but as the root user instead. And in addition to that, it is also customary to place scripts that the system-wide Chrome tab uses in the directory Etsy slash Chrome.d and chrome.hourly, chrome.daily, chrome.weekly, and chrome.monthly directories if they should run in those intervals. For example, the following line in the Chrome tab tells Chrome to run all scripts in the chrome.hourly directory as root every hour. So how does Chrome become a source of vulnerabilities? Chrome jobs in the system-wide Chrome tabs often run with root privileges. So if an attacker can tamper with any command, script, or binary defined or referenced in the Chrome tabs, they can execute arbitrary code with root privileges. There are three ways to do this. First, if the system-wide Chrome tabs files are writable, attackers can write over the Chrome tab files themselves and make Chrome execute arbitrary commands or executable files. And if any script or binary run by Chrome jobs are writable by the attacker, the attacker can modify these files to include arbitrary code. And finally, if the system-wide Chrome directories like Chrome.d or Chrome.rly are writable, attackers can add new executables into the folder that would get automatically executed. For example, let's say the following line is defined in the system-wide Chrome tab. Every day at 9.30 p.m., Chrome runs a maintenance.sh shell script and the script is run under root privileges. Now, let's say that maintenance.sh shell script is also editable by everyone and not just by the root user. In this case, anyone can add additional commands to the shell script and get that command executed by the root user. This makes privilege escalation trivial. For example, attackers can grant themselves super user privileges by adding themselves as a sudoer in the Etsy slash sudoers file. Or they can gain root access by adding a new root user to the Etsy slash password file. Since zero is the UID of the root user, adding a user with the UID of zero will give that user root privileges. This user will have the username Vicky and an empty password. 
These commands are normally not possible by a normal user because only privileged users such as root can modify the sudoers and the password file. But since the maintenance.sh shell script is run by the root user, any commands in it will be run as the root user as well. Chrome privilege escalation is caused by a misconfiguration of the permissions of Chrome files and directories. You can prevent these issues by making sure that any scripts, binaries, or folders that a system-wide Chrome tab runs cannot be modified by unprivileged users. The Chrome tabs themselves should also only be editable by the admin or root. Otherwise, you could accidentally leave your system wide open to privilege escalation attacks.